So the introduction to this can be done. Let me say this risk is mentioned using risk is mentioned using standard deviation. Risk is measured using standard deviation. What is the initial of standard deviation? Then come up, come up, come up, other graph to the level letter is the still. So my book level letter, Nanina Hanan come up equal as well. Still. So depending on whether you love cut and craft or you put in a bit of gun. So standard deviation. Now, how do we get the standard deviation? Standard deviation of an asset equals the square root of what? Square root of variance. Yeah. So, if for instance, when you are looking for the standard deviation of security A, right? So, standard deviation of A shall be the square root of variance, variance of A. Summation of returns of a minus what? Expected returns of a squared times probability. Can you back up for something like this? So we have the formula just be x minus x bar. How that one you exempted? And I think we have done not the units now, but I just have just have a feeling somewhere we go the big class. I mean you are Peter. Okay, So returns of A minus expected returns of A square times the probability. Or, or the standard deviation of A shall be the square root of the summation of the return of A minus expected returns of A divided by minus one. So how far come out for a probability? No, without probability. Without probability, the how far you come out for now? Probability. N is the number of outcomes. So if we have the returns expected maybe for five years, so our N becomes five minus one. Uh -huh. And how do we, how do we get so R A stands for the returns of A. Returns of A, which is always the percentage profit. Return is always the percentage profit. Percentage profit. So percentage profit. Come on before values. Then the percentage profit will be the new price minus all in price of what? The all in price times 100. New minus all over all. If you want the percentage profit, so let's take the selling price minus the cost price over the cost price. So selling price is the new price. Cost price is the all in price, right? Divided by the cost price, which is the all. Right? So new minus all over all times 100. The value at the end. Minus the value at the beginning divided by the value at the beginning. Hi, then error ERA becomes the expected returns of expected returns of security A. Expected returns of A. And how do you get the expected returns of A? Summation of returns of A times what? The probability but hey, this one is simply the mean. You have to calculate the mean. Come open a probability mean, see the, the return times the probability. And if you don't have the probability, summation of what? The total of a number. So all the summation of the returns of A divided by N.
Then you simply say that uh, <clears throat> the lower the standard deviation, the lower the risk. The lower the standard deviation, the lower the risk. You are happy when the risk is low. If it's about making a decision, we shall go in for the one that has the lowest standard deviation. The lower the standard deviation, the lower the risk. Then unfortunately, just put a start and you say, measure the extent, measure the extent of the correlation, measure the extent of the relationship, measure the extent of the relationship we use. We use coefficient of variation. We use coefficient of variation into brackets CB. CB, which is a measure, which is a measure of standard deviation, which is a measure of standard deviation per unit of expected return. Standard deviation per unit of expected return. i.e. when we equal CB equals to standard deviation over expected return. You say, we come at a design in a cartoon at me and SD. Me and SD, SD for standard deviation over the expected return. And of course, we are sorted, the lower the better. The lower the better. The lower the better. Then make a small step to make us conclude portfolio, portfolio mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. and return. Portfolio is and return. What is the portfolio? Portfolio is. Grouping of grouping of investments. Uh -huh. When do you form a portfolio? To diversify the risk and of course to maximize the returns. So to diversify the risk and to maximize the, the return. So that's where we are. So, so. so collection in so the portfolio in simple terms. Certainly, the collection of investments. Any in investment A. If I also have investment B, investment A and B put together, now that forms the portfolio, the collection of investments. So, so just say this portfolio refers to, portfolio refers to a collection of investments. Collection of investments. With an aim of minimizing the risk, with an aim of minimizing, minimizing to the best value, minimizing the risk and maximizing the return. Maximizing the return. Then you say portfolio risk, next point, portfolio risk equals standard deviation. Of the portfolio. So portfolio risk equals standard deviation of the portfolio. Make a standard deviation P. And the standard deviation of the portfolio equals the square root of what? Square root of variance. Anytime you're talking about the standard deviation, shall always be the square root of, of variance. Square root of variance. So now, standard deviation of the portfolio equals to square root. So to put a variance. Now I'm combining security A and security B. If it equals security A, we get. 
If I have the same portability B, when I put both of them together, now that becomes my portfolio. So I'll take the weight of A squared times the standard deviation squared of A. Standard deviation is the end of it. Come out for probability, come out for probability. Now, can I say that standard deviation squared is also known as variance? The variance is standard deviation squared. So somebody can call this to be variance of A, right? Standard deviation squared. Come in up to the question of standard deviation squared. For example, we will again, and can that is clear. Uh, we do the same for B, weight of B squared and standard deviation squared of B. Then we add two times weight of A times weight of B times covariance of AB. You see that it's new. You see that. The weight of A, Shakwanayo, standard deviation of A, the standard deviation of B, we get it from these other formulas. So, upper hand is number one, and number two, and number three, and number three, and number So, this cob, cob of AB, that stands for covariance of AB, equals to, so you shall take the summation of returns of A minus expected returns of A, B, and go up. Then we combine it so we have returns of B minus expected returns of B. We multiply by the probability. Think it is a much So you're combining A and B, returns of A minus expected returns of A, returns of B minus expected returns of B, we multiply by the probability. Come on, have probability? We can divide by what? A minus one. In the absence of probability, we shall divide it by N minus one. Number of years. That's how. Now, alternatively, Covariance of A, B, in your mission. N minus one. N is the number of years. So here, P and N is like what? So maybe come as a panayo, we can come a formula in the alternative. We can alternative. That will give you a formula to see the pieces. Let me find you. The same concept is like this one. With probabilities, without probabilities. So, so they will put that, put that uh, if not probability, and that will be that for the beginning with probability. So there's an alternative way of calculating covariance. There's an animal called correlation coefficient. E equals one. Never did that you again. So far, for me, the The head is almost reaching the the, the break point. There's a, there's, there's a reason they decided to put it at our levels here, because they know you can withstand. Can withstand. But anything that I come to class, anything I teach, 
So this one stands for correlation coefficients. Correlation coefficients. Twelve months can take you places, right? Total Spaniard are sitting for the way they will be a company. Definitely for twenty uh, so August August very just you are question five B. We can that you can do one for August. That can find the two modules of security. Security, a love ring in a portfolio, <coughs> then it shall be done. So, August 22, question 5B. And then, now the financial expert has provided you with the following data regarding returns. On men for limited limited shares for the years 2017 to 2021. So our uh, customer, we have the year and we have the returns as a percentage. So we are lucky. We I mean, the returns as a percentage. The risk of men for limited shares return as measured by the standard deviation. So the only company model. Company model is for the same model again. So now just to get the standard deviation of one company. So how do we get standard deviation of MEPCO? Standard deviation of MEPCO equals to square root of summation of the returns of MEPCO minus what? Expected returns of MEPCO. Squared times what? We do times or we divide. We divide by n minus one. We have the probabilities. We have the number of years. Yeah. We have the number of so upper una probabilities. Uh, how do we get the expected returns of n? Summation of Returns of M divided by what? N. So how about me? 18 plus 16 plus 10 plus 6 plus nothing. 8. We divide everything by how many years are they? The average. Yaka Sinitano. Yaka Nitano. How much is the expected return? Eleven point six. So that is eleven point six percent. So we have the expected returns. So therefore, our standard deviation. Shall be return your funds at 18 minus 11.6 squared. So summation to add to the return your fee, the amount is 16 
minus 11.6 squared plus return here to me 10 minus expected return of 11.6 squared. So next is 6. 6 minus 11.6 squared. Then finally we have 8 minus 11.6 squared. Then you have answer to so now divide by what? 5 minus 1 is before. Then we get the square root. Returns minus expected returns. Now let me let me let me let me guide you. Chuka calculator, but I for the let me be the last part of the two the calc. For your calc, finial eleven point six equals eleven point six equals. I'm saying I'm using I'm doing that because eleven point six is common all of. So that will be my answer. Then uh, open the brackets. Engine minus answer. Minus answer, close the bracket squared, plus square equals 10. That's how. So E, E or 11.6 to my answer. So I simply open the brackets, 18 minus answer, close squared, plus open the bracket, 16 minus answer, close squared, plus open 10 minus answer, closed squared, plus open the brackets. 6 minus answer, so 11.6 is common. Now, when you are going to be in your kidney, you are cut. So, close squared plus open 8 minus answer, close squared. How much is your equals? We get how much, as long as it's not syntax error. 107.2. So divide by 4 and get the square root. The square root of your answer. Oh, you got it. 1 second. So that is it. That is our four marks. And I'm going to get a which are the policy. And print to it, print it. So we can policy. Great. So I'm promising my Frederick Onyango, the prospective investor is considering buying shares of company A and company B, which are currently selling at 40 and 50 respectively. I think that point now is going to buy shares of company A and B. A and B go together, that becomes what? The portfolio. Now becomes the portfolio. Currently, a share of A is selling at 40 and the share of company B is selling at 50. Right. Wishes to invest one million in both companies' shares in the ratio of six to four for share A and B respectively. So how much will be invested in A? I think six hundred thousand. 
six is to four zero. So six hundred thousand will be invested in A, but the remaining four hundred thousand will be invested in, in B. Can we get the weight of A? Weight of A would be in six hundred K over one million. Zero point six zero. Weight of B will be four hundred K over one million, right? Five. Then the forecasted end of the year market prices and the probabilities of the occurrence in different economic conditions are given as follows. Uh -huh. So you have the economic condition probability end of year market prices. Support will go at the values. For three months, expected rate of return for each investment. I mean, to give the percentage profit, I mean, to pay the values. But there's no problem. Apart from now, they can have probability. After the probability, I did know the returns of A. So you can talk about share A, share B. Share A and share B. So probability equals 0 0.4. Can you get the returns of A? The so many percent, the returns must always be the percentage. What is the new price of A at the end of the year? I think 50. What was the original price of A? 40, never more than 40, divided by what? So the new minus all over old. 40 for quality. 40 for quality. Right. Uh -huh. Probability equals 0 0.3. It is how much? 10 over 40. 10 over 40. A quarter. The 25%. Probability equals 0 0.3. The new price is roughly? Is it 42? The old price was 40. Still. That becomes 2 over 40 times 100. So 5%. Probability of mutual plan is 0 0.3. The new price is happy. 35, the old price was how much? 40 over 40 times 100. Negative of? Twenty four B. First one, the new price is the sixty. The old price of B, I think fifty. Divide by fifty times a hundred. Fifty percent. Yeah, really, the new price is 50. So it's 50 minus original, which was 50 over 50 times 100. This one is. That one is zero. I love to hear a mission. Is it 40 minus 50 over 50 times? So this one becomes negative 20. Mm -hmm. Uh, 10 over 5. 10 over 5 is 1 over 5. It's 20 percent. So, we'll talk about expected returns, Leo. So, expected returns of A. They wanted us to get the expected returns of the assets. Expected returns of each investment. Investment share A and B. So expected returns of A equals to financial form. This time round we have the probability. 
summation of the returns of A times the probability, right? So return here, A, upon the negative, 325, probability of 0 0.5, I think 0 0.4, so 25, 0 0.4, 5, 0 0.3, so plus 5 times 0 0.3, Summation returns times probability. I love here to me. Negative. Negative 12.5 times what? 0 0.3. So, how much is the expected returns to pay? Seven point seven five. Uh -huh. Then expected returns of P. Return here upon is it twenty. Probability of zero point four. Return here P is zero. Probability of zero is zero point. I think zero point three. The return here to negative. It's in negative 20 times 0 0.3. All in the expected returns of B. Negative of expected positive 20 times 0 0.4 plus minus 20 times 0 0.3. 2 percent in negative double value. 2 percent. So that is part one of that question. Too much work for few months. Uh -huh. They want us to get the portfolio inspector return. So to have your portfolio inspector return of the portfolio equals weighted expected return. Expected return of the portfolio is the weighted inspector return. We have value of A. So amount invested in A. Six hundred thousand. So six is to put up and even six hundred for it. And the amount in B is how much? Six hundred P. Total Linga P. One million. Right? Can I have the weight? So the weight of A, 0 0.6, weight of B, 0 point, the total equal 1. Zero. So therefore, expected return of the portfolio, weight of A is expected returns of A, plus weight of B is expected returns of B. Any time you're talking about portfolio, you're combining the two assets together. Our weight of A in that is 0 point 6. The expected returns of A is 7 point 7.75. Weight of B 0 point with an expected return of 2. What is the expected return of the portfolio? I 
five weeks for five weeks. I'm not gonna this one in. Assuming that the returns for share A and B are perfectly positively correlated, complete the portfolio risk. Just say this for a perfect positive correlation, for a perfect positive correlation. The perfect positive correlation, comma, correlation coefficient equals plus one. Remember correlation coefficient? Ilegi equal as well. Perfect positive, positive one. Perfect negative, negative one. So correlation coefficient equals. But they come here in a cataract, no lay like a tar, where they got hard, and in a kind of paper with you. A party. What you put as a ground for me, and dinner. Don't have to punish yourself. So do come up, come up, for a perfectly negative, for a perfectly negative, they continue. For a perfectly negative correlation, correlation coefficient negative one, negative one, because next time I'm going to perfectly negative correlated. So, so perfectly positive, positive one, perfectly negative, negative one, uncorrelated correlation coefficient equals to zero. Uncorrelated portfolio. Correlation coefficient equals to zero, then no correlation. Coefficient is zero. Why do we need the correlation coefficient? You can first calculate what? Is it for bias? Ah, one step at a time. Portfolio risk equals to square root of. Time to shine. Weight of weight of a square times standard deviation squared of a is clear. Plus we have a and b. Weight of b squared times standard deviation squared of b, right? Plus a two times weight of a times weight of b times what for variance of a and a and B. It's an agricultural perhaps that A is our. Can we get the standard version of A? From the information provided? Standard version of A equals to returns minus expected returns squared that is the probability. Yeah. Formula right. This time around we have the probability. Stay well. Return here on the semi 25 minus expected return of 7 points. 7 5. Squared probability of the 0.0.4. 0 right? This time around we have the probability. Coming there, it comes at higher. Plus, Return your feeling is it five minus seven point seven five squared probability is zero point three. And after return your chart to me minus twelve point five minus seven point seven five squared probability of zero point zero point three. So la pinya for count and say for the pattern square. Let's just the same approach. Let's use the same approach. So I use the color to be an and then I let you I let you go find it. Our answer is 7.756. 
So it is available for 75 key codes. Then after that, open the brackets, 25 minus answer, square times 0 0.4. Plus, open, 5 minus answer, close, square times 0 0.3. The one that you get in me. Ah, 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 so you open five minus answer plus square times zero point three. Then plus open again minus twelve point five minus answer plus square times zero point three. We get before the square root two point three one and the square root becomes square root of answer. Eight point three. Right? Can you have the standard deviation of B? Using the same concept. Twenty minus the twenty minus two square times zero point four plus. 0 minus 2 square times 0 0.3 plus minus 20 minus 2 square times 0 0.3. Right? So two becomes your answer clear. That is a realistic quality. Get how much before the square root? Two seventy. So square root becomes sixteen point. Six one. So two bonus the standard deviation answer. How we get covariance of A B? How much one correlation coefficient? Prisma equals to correlation coefficient of A B times standard deviation of A times good. Standard deviation of B. I just want to the alternative formula. We look at it for a perfectly positive correlation coefficient. Perfectly positive positive one. So meaning, how much for now? One times fifteen point six three times sixteen point six one to the covariance. Correlation coefficient, which is plus one, then standard deviation of A, then standard deviation of B. No. Perfectly positive, like couple of variables, it can be equal to perfectly what? Perfectly positive, be positive one. Perfectly negative, negative one. If there are not those ones, will be given. So you need to go and examine and feature. That's all. So co equals to? 250. 259.61. So 259.61. <laughs> so now, so what you ask what folder is? So standard vision of the portfolio becomes weight of A was zero point. You remember saying zero point six somewhere? 
zero point six squared. Standard deviation of m fifteen point fifteen point six three squared plus weight of b zero point and zero point four squared times standard deviation of b sixteen point six one. Yeah. Weight of A, still elevation of A. Weight of B, still elevation of B. Plus A, 2 times weight of A, times weight of B, times covariant, which is 259.61. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, I'm going to go to the pole. I love you, and so I'm going to go to the square root here. I'm going to go to the pole. So the answer that you get, you get the square root. That becomes the value of this. Okay.